Hey guys, this is Todd from Todd Recommends that TV, bringing you another video for you. It's been a while, uh, so this is an actual video and not just an update or anything. But this is my predictions for WWDC 2009. Yes, we all know WWDC is coming up here within a few weeks. It's June 8th through the 12th. And um, the biggest news, obviously, is this is hopefully the return of Steve Jobs, which I'm looking forward to because he has been absent for the past, I think, few months. I can't remember if it's five or six months, but he's been gone for a while. So that's good to hear. Hopefully he will be there and uh, presenting so, so he can get back to making key products for Apple. But anyway, let's uh, get into some of my predictions. We all know that most of this thing is going to be the iPhone 3.0 OS that they've announced at Macworld recently in January. I think January, February, something like that. Excuse me. Um, which we know cut, cut, copy, and paste, and you know, a few other things that are, that are going to be coming uh, to the iPhone OS 3.0, which is push serve notifications and stuff like that. But uh, I wanted to give my thoughts and predictions. I feel that WWDC is going to be more towards iPhone and Snow Leopard. First, let's touch on iPhone. Um, I, I believe video is going to be coming to the iPhone, like video support to be able to record video and you know send video hopefully send video tech you know text message or send it to your friends through email and stuff like that well that might get a little too too much I might be pushing it there but I mean right now you can do video if you jailbreak your iPhone they've got quick and ustream.tv those are live streaming video but I I'm sure there's a jailbroken one app out there that will let you record capture video as well but I'm not familiar with it right now if you do know please put a comment below and let me know I'll be looking into it so that's like my big thing uh, right now for the iPhone. I think video support, they're going to hit video pretty hard and is, and doing functionality that we've already heard in Macworld. Um, but also I, the biggest prediction I think, well, I'll leave that for last, but I think the next thing we're going to hear about is uh, Snow Leopard. Uh, we haven't heard too much about Snow Leopard thus far. We've only heard talks about it, you know, it's going to, be all under the hood stuff, nothing, you know, visual and upgrades or nothing like that. So I think we're actually going to get a time of when we're going to see Snow Leopard be released, hopefully this fall. Um, other than that, let's see, I think I had, but I, I believe everything's going to be an under the hood upgrade, nothing visual. And I, I read a couple articles that were saying that the, for Mac rumors that there was going to be video, uh, support to encode your files and send them to like YouTube like there is an iMovie right now. So I think that was pretty cool and I've read a whole bunch of other articles, you know, rumors about Snow Leopard. But anyway, this brings me to the, I guess, what you want to call it, there's just one more thing, the Apple, you know, notorious for that in every conference that they do. But I believe we're going to see a new iPhone. Um, I believe the iPhone is just going to be like the iPod. It's going to, every year they're going to, you know, reiterate the iPhone and bring new features, new support, new, you know, new functionality to the iPhone that there wasn't in the previous version. So I, I, I really do see the iPhone um, being a uh, new iPhone. And the things you're going to see on this iPhone is a new camera, probably more megapixels, probably five or so. And also, I believe we're going to see a camera on the front of the screen for iChat uh, video conferencing. Uh, that's been rumored a lot. Um, those are my only two things I can think of, or thing I can think of, but then I also seen some rumors about a netbook, which this has been rumored for about a year, and then uh, a, an iPhone eye light or something like that, an, a lighter iPhone that's not as, it's just like a smaller version that's going to be cheaper and stuff like that. So those are just rumor mills that have been going out there, but I think my big, my biggest prediction is that we're going to see a new iPhone. So I mean that's guaranteed. So uh, please feel free to leave your suggestions down in the comments box uh, or do a video reply of what you think your predictions are from uh, WWDC. Uh, you know I like to hear your thoughts and opinions. As well, you can always uh, email me at toddrecommends at gmail.com. And don't forget, uh, every Tuesdays I do live streaming at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's like a two-hour show that I actually do. We talk about tech topics. I take live st Skype calls. So uh, be sure to come over and check that out and uh, participate. All right, guys. Until next time.